let's get ready to rumble. I guess that's what that uh, low synth note is. Uh, just let me give you uh, just a little uh, update here. Uh, on the injured uh, list, we have, uh, of course, our our buddy uh, Mike Cassiotti, who will be out for the rest of the season. I've heard his shoulder, unfortunately. Uh, newcomer Chris Joseph, number 44, one of my favorite new players and a favorite of the of the broadcast team up here. Has a broken hand, and uh, hopefully he'll be back soon. That's unfortunate to hear. Chris Joseph uh, was a very good addition to the team. Oh. Picked him up through the winter break, and we're, uh, we're excited to see him on the team. Yeah. Uh, the other quick pickup was uh, Vincent Lopes, and uh, he's out there in the starting uh, right wing position. Here's Adam Ball and Don Cassano for our faceoff. Referee. And Mike Peace. A handshake. There we go. One by Sonny Brook down the left side. A little crunch right at the start. In the corner, off to the front. No, got back to the point. Off the side, uh, little dribbler behind the net. Screaming Wesley Hawkins back out to the point. Oh, not in. Now they're out. Three on two, three on three. Neutral zone turnovers are going to be uh, crucial in this game. Whatever team gives up the least has a better shot at winning this game. Both well, teams have a lot of speed. giveaway, and, and Chris Housel right on the right on the pads. There's a little cross break, break, break out. One, two down. Wesley Hawkins picks up at center ice over himself, off to the side. Down Cassano. And oh, that hit the post on the outside. Bounced off a knee. Bounced off of Vincent Lopes' knee. I thought he was going to get a nice little tip. Foster up the right wing. A little cruncher and then a little congestion at the bench. Cross ice. Cut Foster coming down. Soderberg's got to establish the forecheck early and often in this game if they want to keep Westchester on their heels. Ooh, that, uh, that, that was a free win from the ref. I thought he was going to call. I think we're going to see uh, the ref put the whistle in his pocket tonight. I don't think we're going to see a lot of uh, calls unless they're really blatant. Nice. Yeah. Up in the corner, this, so, so we're keeping the pressure on here. But, as soon, of course, as soon as I say that, they get it cut out. This is uh, Steve Mead, no relation to any of the Mead brothers on Long Island here. He's just zooming behind the net. Sean Collins, breakout. Barbara at the side and couldn't keep it in. Dumped it back in. They'll have to flush the zone. Bob Mc McInerney behind the net, number five. Strong defenseman. Up the right hand side. Strong defenseman and uh, pretty high on the points list for Westchester University. They know this. Uh, everybody a little tentative here. Steve Mead putting on a little uh, clinic there. Speaking of this after whistle feistiness, they said that down in Stony Brook, uh, down in Delaware, Stony Brook, once they got behind, uh, just uh, just took out their frustration after the whistle, and uh, they should maybe just keep that between the whistles. They would do a little better. Okay, here's a faceoff with Nick Dureski. Oh, tried to bounce it up the right-hand side. Chris Ryan, Captain, Captain Ryan. Now we got it. Dureski up to the side, and two on one opportunity. Brian Elfant. Nice save. Two saves in a row. Beautiful. This uh, goalie, uh, Randy Japchen, for the Westchester Golden Rams, uh, showing the boys a little five hole and then uh, closing it right back up. Got a face off in the corner here. Nick Dureski and Brian Ruskowski. Sounds like uh, the, the east end of Long Island would be very proud right now. All right. Ted Case. There are two Case boys on the team. I uh, was unable to determine if they're related. I would imagine they are. Uh, Teddy Case is number six, he's a defenseman. And uh, Andy Case is uh, forward, number 77. Chase Narrow from behind, and coming up. Cross ice on the far right wing. Dumping in and going for a little change. Oh, found a good four check there. They're trying to break out of the long arms of Jace Narrow comes to the rescue. Chris Hauser going for a little stroll behind the net. Pat, Fo Pat Foster without a stick. Good play with the hand. Coming up 
play there. Going, going up the center. A lot yeah. of mucking around in the neutral Mitchell. zone. Eddie Montgomery dumping in. Ooh, cruncher on the side. Trying to keep it in the zone. But Josh Brooks, number 22. For uh, Stony Brook. <laughs> Eddie Montgomery uh, just introduced himself to uh, one of the Golden Rams. Locked horn, so to speak, with the Golden Rams. George Nichols up on the right-hand side, just couldn't get him up. The boards, he had a streaking winger. They'll try that again. And tipped in by Wesley Hawkins. No ice. Behind the net. Vincent Lopes putting the pressure on. Keep your eye on number 23 for Stony Brook, you guys. Hit this guy can fly when he tips it like, oh, like that. And the backhand out in front, just dump it, throw it out there. Here we go. Fitzpatrick, Fitzy with a shot from the point. Wesley Hawkins with his un, unstoppable pressure. Couldn't nub, nub it up enough. Westchester brought the body there and stopped that amazing Sternberg forecheck. Let's see what Westchester can do now. They can break it into the Sternberg zone. Up, up the right hand side. Oh man, just uh, creased. That's our Sam Brewster got, uh, you don't see him go down that much. Got to get the number of that bus. Oh, oh there's the Sam huge saying hit there. Yeah, well, the, the puck was just sitting next to Chris Housel, and he, uh, the uh, fellow was uh, banging and scraping, and Sam said, don't do that. Oh. Marielli with the offside call. Skinny line. Uh, Westchester Golden Rams feature a, a, a Chris uh, Gentili. I didn't get a chance to find out if he's related to the Gentilly here on Long Island, who is, uh, has a long history with the Islanders. And, uh, and uh, gee, I think it was the uh, Green Machine and all those that back in the old days. So we'll find that out. Off the face off, roll the way down. Got a little icing. And yes, we do. And the uh, inserted uh, Jordan DiLorenzo, he was not uh, originally on the starting lineup. And uh, Coach Garofalo, I guess, just Bumped him up there because he's a good-looking guy. And where's number 13? That has. Well, that's he, a, he's okay in my book. Sean Johnson Collins is getting uh, booted, and uh, Nick Barber are taking it. Sean Collins in the corner. Back to Nick. Nick digging. Back to the point. Lorenzo bumps it in. Ooh. With Barbara trying to get off to say Sean Collins. There's Sam. Pucks are not staying on the ice. They gotta they gotta keep those pucks down if they want those passes to connect. Dilo gets his pocket back. Yeah. This is uh, Steve Mead coming in again. We're, we're mentioning his name an awful lot tonight. Uh, strong left winger. Right-handed shot for the Westchester Golden Rams. Behind the net, Jason Arrow. The boards peeled off, pinched off, uh, rather, by uh, Mike Koza for the Golden Rams. I don't know if they're wearing heavy socks or not. It's just, uh, each one of the Golden Rams looks like they have legs the size of tree trunks. And that's, a, that's the way they're playing. They're banging. Yeah, they are bringing the hits early and often. <laughs> it's, the hits keep happening here. Backhand. Another, uh, another right-handed shot up on left wing. This could be a trend for the Golden Rams. Yeah. Matt O'Brien totally is down there. Totally advised cycle there in the defensive zone. Ooh. Pad tester. Back to the point. Uh, Mike, Bill Pellegrino. Love his water. Yeah. Scott Musser from Mechanicsburg, as a matter of fact. He's going off. We've got two boys from New York on the Westchester Rams. Uh, they both played for the Brewster Bulldogs. We'll, uh, we'll highlight them a little later on. That's James Ross behind the net for Stony Brook. Oh, did that sneak in? Nope. That's underneath Chris underneath Housel. Housel. Wow. 
the ref was in the uh, right position to make the uh, the non no goal call. A little over seven minutes played in the first period. That's right. This first period is brought to you by ADP, the business behind business. I'm near the area. I'm, I'm with Trevor Magnani tonight. Uh, Andy is uh, on assignment. He's, so this is a chance for Stony Brook coming down. Nope. Pinched off again. A little scrum going on in front of the announcer bench. Penalty box. George uh, Nichols back. Captain Nichols uh, just dumps it in. Gains his own. George Nichols again on a bouncing puck. Oh. Just got to throw it on the net. A little later on, we'll show that uh, Chris Ferraro is uh, behind the bench tonight in his, uh, I think, the first official capacity as uh, one of the assistant coaches. All the way around. Vincent Lopes knocks it out. Oh, oh geez. Dan Cassano almost had a breakaway there. Back behind the net, Jason Arrow over to Captain Nichols. The board, Wesley Hawkins tries to bang it out. It doesn't get out and up in the air. Westchester still in control. Clogging the net. They're trying to clear it out. Another little tip. Uh, back in the corner. This is uh, Harrison Welch, number 23. Jason Arrow up on the side and there's that Steve Mead again, number nine. Wesley Hawkins coming down on his left wing. He's behind the net. Vincent Lowe's with the speed back to the point. Got two Stony Brook guys behind the net. Wesley. And they clear it out. Chase Narrow back on side. All the way around. Held. Ooh, not held in by DiLorenzo. Back to Jason Arrow. Everybody's on side. He dumps it in. Going for a little change. <laughs> There's some banging going on now, you guys. This is uh, Mike Kozak trying to come up the right wing, and he got pinched off. De Lorenzo from behind the net trying to zoom it up to Sam Brewster. Sean Collins now breaking out on right wing. He's got a trailer. Nick Barbara. The side. Boom. Here comes Nick is trying to get this game the zone off to Sean Collins. Sean looking back. Sorry he had a trailing Pat Foster, but he couldn't get it to him. Sonnenberg having a little bit of trouble keeping the keeping pressure on in the Westchester zone. Yeah. It's, it's bad. There's a scrum going on here. We got a three on three. A rugby game broke out. Nick Barber of uh, playing very well tonight. Good job staying strong in the puck. On it. Uh, couldn't keep it in. Uh, Captain Nichols tried to cross ice. James Ross. This is uh, Captain uh, Chris Ryan and they tried to center it up, but nobody home. Almost looked like a set play there, looking for the uh, for the man driving down the center. That was a. Uh, Adam Ball, that's 25. He, Adam Ball just in the right spot at the right time. Okay, this should get it out here. Trying to, get, trying to tip it out. That didn't work. Pesky bounce. Chris will hold on to it. Eight, eight minutes and 29 seconds left. The shots on goal are pretty even, at eight to seven. And. Uh, PA announcer is in uh, good lung tonight, as you could probably hear at home. Looks like they finally fixed the issues in the rink. <laughs> Nick Dureski is uh, taking this face off with uh, the aforementioned Adam Ball. Oh, they just knocked, uh, just chased Nick out. And they're bringing in uh, Brian Alphonse. Alphonse. Westchester with control back to the point, but did not get there. Now it got there, but there's nobody home. Of Jason Arrow's ankle. 
Nice spin, uh, spinorama move by Fitzy Fitzpatrick. The glass tester. Jason Arrow coming out. Clears the zone. And ooh, I don't know if I would have said they got out of there that thing, but no harm, no foul. Tries to break it up the right point. Fitzpatrick uh, out with the puck. A little too much uh, muster on that one. Matt Feeney back for Westchester coming up the right wing and just dumps it in. A little bit behind the red line. Di Lorenzo up the boards. Not out though. Oh, oh, nice little elbow crevice save by uh, Chris Housel. One of the things Westchester is doing very well is they're taking every shooting opportunity they can. Sturbrook is trying to set up a little bit more. They need to just get shots on goal. Because when it comes down to it, you, if you keep throwing shots on the goal, there's a better chance of one going in. Yeah. I, uh, it's, it's no real mystery. Uh, I wish uh, I'd like to see Stony Brook do that a little bit more. They're always looking for the good pass. Like you said, Trev, they, they, they are just firing from all points, angles, and... Uh, Whomever has it. Okay. Nice. Okay, Eddie Montgomery coming up. Oh, on the left wing. James Ross. Pat Foster back on D. Josh Brooks is number 22. Uh, Ross not coming up. Cross ice all the way over to uh, Johnny Jennings. Uh, Johnny backhand. Ooh, a cruncher. <laughs> and Dan Cassano, but Dan is uh, up and running again. And now we're a little battle going on between uh, Matt Miano and a couple of the Golden Rams. Nice clear there. Wesley Hawkins having a, right in his boots. Off to the side, Matt Miano up the wing to the speedy Vincent Lope. But unfortunately, guy with a black shirt got in the way. Here comes Dan Cassano. Nice move. Usini. Oh, and he shoots wide to the right. Kept in by Captain Nichols. A little, a little under six minutes to go in the first period. There's Wesley Hawkins again on left wing. That's control of the puck, passes up. Dan Cassano, Dan Cassano moving in the center. Vincent Lopes with a beauty, a rising shot that just got uh, blocker save. He's heading for that corner. That was, uh, Tim Margana, Margadana. Sorry, Tim, if, I, if, you're, if your parents are watching. Margadana. One of those names that's just hard to sew on the back of a sweater. Thankfully, Westchester University does not have them, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't start at one elbow and finish on the other one. Ooh, he tried to come up center ice. We had a streaking Sean Collins. Unfortunately, just missed him. Adam Ball coming down, and he hands off to Chris Gentile. Ooh, he went right into Chris Housel. But taps him on the shoulder. That was unintentional. Very nice move there by Tim Marganana. He... Uh, Crashed into Chris Housel and uh, when, as he was coming up, so like, give him a little tap saying, not on purpose, old being. Hawkins pleading with the official for a uh, for a call. Yeah. <laughs> not going to get one. No. Faceoff should come outside the zone, as it does. Nice. Good good pickup. Yep. Shots in goal again, uh, very even, 10 to 9. Uh, Westchester has been getting a lot of shots towards the net. Sunberg has been blocking a lot of them as well. Unfortunately, we don't keep track of the block shots. Crisp passes. You can hear the passes here tonight. Brian Elfant. Oh, that's Eddie Montgomery. Here we go. Two on one. Chris uh, with Mead coming down on the right wing. He misses. Back to Skladkowski. That was a textbook two on one there. Defenseman takes, takes the pass away. Goaltender faces down the shooter. Uh oh. Chris has lost a stick. Chris Housel is without his stick. Westchester uh, swarming right here, off in the corner. Uh, and 
Chris oh. has got a stick back. Had two defensemen without a stick at, at one time there. I don't know. Yep. They uh, gave gave one stick to the to Chris Housel, and then there we go. Nick yeah, West, coming up this. Westchester <laughs> had had the man in the, in the back door wide open. They did not get the puck there. It could have been an easy goal. Two swings on it. Nick Dureski coming up. Chris Housel changing direction, changing the speed. Nick Dureski again. Oh. <laughs> Caught in the glove. <laughs> yeah. Lots of nooks and crannies that can get sucked in. That's, a, that's our Brian Elfond up to Nick Dureski and Dureski work hard. Hard. And we're going to have our first penalty. No, we, it's just a high stick call. Okay. Just a high stick. We got our hopes up for some sort of event, <laughs> and we just got a high stick. The so faceoff will be down to the right of the Westchester goalie. Jimmy McKee, we haven't mentioned his name, and uh, Brian Elfand on this faceoff. Uh, with a little under uh, three and a half. Green change. Oh, chasing them out, and then. I think the, the I think the biggest event we've had Dan so far Griffiths. is is uh, people being ejected from the faceoff tonight. No goals, no penalties. Yeah. Bill Pellegrino with a bouncing. With a bouncer. Oh. We got our hopes up. Puck. Hit a pebble in the infield. Brian Elfond just digging and keeping his head down. And, oh, it's that was kicked away. We're bouncing around and it's pinball the shot in the side from Nick Dureski. He tried, he just turned and fired. But just now they're keeping it in. Captain Nichols over to the side. Oh, he tried to center up. Chris Ryan. It's a right sitting out in front again. Oh, he tried to hold it in. He jump shot. This is Andy Case, the other Case boy. He just dumps it in, gets off. We got two pinching uh, Westchester characters coming in. Oh, Wesley Hawkins all cross center. Icy drops it for. Didn't have much of an opportunity there. Made the made the right move to, to pass the puck off. Silver team had a great series oh, there. Geez. Getting a lot of pressure and a lot of good opportunities deep in the Westchester zone. Well, uh, we, we expected them to come out and uh, be flying, and they're both teams are flying. They know how important this game is, and we just got to keep playing. Uh, I, asked the, uh, I asked the Westchester coach, what's the game plan? And he said, put the puck in the net. Don't make any mistakes. I went, it's a good, good strategy. And we'll do it again. I didn't even tell you who the coaches were for uh, Westchester. We got Sean Dorsey is the head coach. Uh, assistant coaches are Ryan Stevens and uh, Dom Belizzle for Shizzle. That's a Dom. He's out there. Got Vincent Lopes coming up the right wing. Started to pass it and didn't go. There we go. Wesley Hawkins coming in. Still. And another fan gets a hamburger. There we go. Wesley taking a shot from the left wing uh, and tipped up into the screen. So we'll have a face off. Now let's see if we get anybody thrown out this time. That's Adam Ball, number 25. He'll probably be taking the face off against Brian Elfon, number six. Sean Collins doing a little dipsy doodle down in, on the wall here. Johnny Jennings bounces out with the puck and literally gets bounced by a couple of Golden Rams living up to their name, headbutts. Shoot, that's a Chris Gentili, number seven. He's flying. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> a little extracurricular activity after the whistle. Yes, that's uh, DiLorenzo. Maybe it's inherent in the number 13. He just didn't like that fellow poking and scraping at uh, Chris Housel. So he stopped him. As now much as you are allowed to. <laughs> play until the whistle, boys. Sometimes a little, a little bit more. <laughs> no harm, no foul, though. Or Adam Ball off. again against Chris, uh, 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 Brian Elfond. Uh, 
George Nichols around the side. The Sunderberg has that set play in the defensive zone to get that quick breakout. Didn't exactly work out from that time. Matt Miano, number two. We got Johnny Jennings who's streaking down the right wing. Head, head down, digging it. Pass right out front to Sean Collins. What a sh beautiful pass. Fortunately, the goalie got in the way. And we are down to the last minute. Last minute play the we go. We go. Sean Collins breaking in over the wing. A big shot into the uh, belly protector of a. Uh, and look at that. Four wet, uh, golden rams there to take down Chris Ryan. It's the only time you'll see him go down, folks. Both goalies are being tested pretty uh, pretty heavily in the first period here. 13 shots on goal and 15 for Sunderbrook and Westchester, respectively. This is Matt Skladowski getting uh, chased from the faceoff circle. And uh, Steve Mead's coming in. And they're going up against Chris Ryan. Nope, Chris Ryan got uh, booted also, so Nick Barber's coming in. Uh, outside the zone, so they're going to dump it in. And Bang, bang it right back out again. Very uh, realize the clock is down. Ooh, streaking center trailer and then just uh, missed connecting. That was a, a good attempt. Nick Dureski trying to pinch in here. Just 25 to go. That Foster up around the side. Not out. Pat Foster putting some pressure on uh, Matt Sklodowski. Matt Sklodowski going to the bench. Big burly winger. Uh, Sean Fitzpatrick. And that'll do it for the first. At the end of one, uh, it's 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. And it, it, that would... Typical first period is getting to know you would probably be the theme song if I was at the organ, I would play that. So uh, I guess we'll be back a, a little in a few moments uh, with the second period action uh, and the recap of the, uh, the first period. You're watching Stony Brook Hockey. to do it on the fly. Oh it's, well. it, it, I gotta say, it's, it's, there's not as much pressure doing this because th there's not, it won't be yet. there's not as much pressure doing this, but like if you're down there in the, in the booth doing the PA, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the more pressure filled job. Or, you or gotta pronounce all the names right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got one shot. <laughs> <laughs>
end-to-end first period, and uh, we're just about ready to get started with the second period. The refs put the nets in, and uh, ice is drying up nicely. What do you think of the first period? Uh, I was back and forth action. We really didn't see much in terms of anything on the score sheet. Uh, the scorekeeper had a, had a period off. <laughs> just had to keep the tally of the shots, which we had quite a lot. 13 and 15 total for 28. That's, yeah, it's a pretty active first period. Pretty active first period, but no goals, no assists, no penalties. We got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Other than the fact that we've been flooded with phone calls now, uh, people believe me when I said that about the lottery, and uh, <laughs> so many Magnanis are coming out of the woodwork, the, the relatives and uh, old and new, but that was a, a little... Yeah. That was not a true story. It was a little joke. Uh, Andy, get back here quick. We need you, as you can tell, if you, if you were watching and listening to the first period. Okay. He's in Los Angeles on uh, an assignment for work. Fantastic. So he's enjoying the uh, the not so snowy weather we've been having here in New York. I was just out in beautiful Utah, at where the mountains look like Entenmann's cakes. So I said, "This looks like a gigantic Entenmann's cake." And of course, everybody in Utah said, "What?" Because <laughs> it was uh, they don't have that much snow as of. Uh, although when I was leaving, it was, they were starting to get a dumper. So most of the mountains were chocolatey brown with a little bit of confectioner sugar on top. I mentioned before Angela's House charity uh, tonight, and uh, we'll be discussing that a little later on. But uh, needless to say, we're all excited about the next house being built in Stony Brook. Uh, details to follow. The Paula Castro family should be very proud of the foundation in Angela's name. It looks and like we're ready to go. We're ready to go with Adam Ball. Dan Cassano, famous face-off pair. Down right-hand side. Back behind the net. Stony Brook coming, breaking out. Pat Foster up the side. Coming in across, a little crisscross. We're going to get in the zone nicely. He's a little shot. Vincent Lopes is the speedy winger here from Stony Brook. He's a newcomer, number 23. Uh, kind of back in the zone, a little crunch. Keep him, keep him honest. Uh, a little bit, of a, little bit of a missed hit there. I don't know if uh, number seven there from Westchester was attempting to throw an elbow there to keep the starting required, yes. but uh, had he connected that, he probably would have been sitting. <laughs> Gentilly, not so gentile. Not so gentle, I should say. Okay, faceoff coming in down here right down on the Westchester net. Lorenzo keeping it in the zone on the right board. Wesley Hawkins shoots on the, just to, uh, maybe he got the memo just to dump it on the net here, folks. Okay, on the outside, he crossed it to, oh, there's a goal. And there we Wesley is. Hawkins on the off wing, beautiful shot. Beautiful, he just turned and fired. He spotted him. A beautiful pass from Dan Cassano. He was looking, looking, looking. He didn't know if he was gonna go to point. Saw Wesley Hawkins on the off wing and he just popped it right in. Stony Brook goal, screaming Wesley Hawkins on a beautiful pass from Dan, nice hands, Kasana. And the goal comes in at 53 seconds in the second period. Nice and early for the Seawolves. Now, see if the Seawolves go back on their heels or if they continue coming at them like this. On the right hand side, Dureski coming in, pinching in the wing. Chris Ryan out in front and no, just missed. Oh, and they come right back. Oh, man, came right back down. Chris Hauser made the first save on Sklodowski. And then uh, Steve Mead just popped it right in. Before we can even get the PA announcer's goal announcement in, we're not at one. So that, that goal comes in under 20 seconds after the goal. Okay. Now well, they got that out of their system. So let's, let's see who tallies the next one. Sam Brewster coming in off on his left wing. It 
So we've got an offsides call. This one should go down. Yep. The Westchester goal was by Steve Mead uh, with an assist to Sklodowski. Uh, Matt Sklodowski, as we said. Nine from number four. Interesting there that the intentional offside wasn't uh, blown all the way down to the Westchester zone. Oh, right out of the out of the ring, and right into the cafe. Uh, face off coming down here. There was a little tip. Stony Brook full change. We got Di Lorenzo coming out. Jason Arrow. Notice immediately after the Stony Brook goal, it looked like Stony Brook just kind of let off the pedal. They got to keep the pedal down <laughs> if they want to win this game. Yeah. <laughs> You said it in the pregame. They got a little complacent. Yes. Ooh. Brian Elfon trying to tap it over to Nick Barbara, who's out on the left wing there. Scrum in here and side. T. Lorenzo dumps it in. Stony Brook staying back. One pinching in. Coming up the left wing. Off the boards, Brian Elfond off his stick. Oh, that might cause a off to the side. Dugan dumps it in. Jason Arrow, Di Lorenzo. Back up to Jason Arrow. He's going to come across all the way over here to the right wing. Got Brian offense streaking down the right hand side, trying to crisscross. cross. He'll be home on the left hand side. Nichols in that. Oh, he's trying to break, get it back out to the point. That was a, that was a good look by Brian Alfond, unfortunately, was unable to connect. Back behind the zone. They're coming out now on the cross ice up the center. That should be. But, yep. Oh, ice that was, that one shouldn't have been called. Center Claire was in the lead to that puck. There's a little contesting there from Stoneberg. That's that uh, judgment, not so judgment call, unfortunately. Yeah. A little bit of a, in my opinion, it was a little bit of a missed call there. Should, because the puck was wrapping, they should have, should have definitely uh, taken a second look. Dan Cassano with that Adam Ball again. And we've got Vincent Lopez streaking down the white ring. Watch this guy go across ice all the way over to Wesley Hawkins. Back behind the net. Picked up there, back out to the point. No, no. Ooh, Ooh, Hawkins sticks it down. This is Vincent Lopez on his off wing again. George Nichols keeping it in. Boot up in the side. Shoot uh, first, think later. There we go. Wow. Matt Miano getting a, a cruncher, but standing tall. Wesley Hawkins coming in. Over to Vincent Lopes. Out. He's got a guy out in front. George Nichols is pitching in. Yeah. The defense is joining the play, and that's good. It's good to see the D joining the play. One of the things Garrow uh, definitely showed, uh, actually, it was uh, Peter Ferraro showing off in practice. He wanted the D to join the play in many drills. Wow. He's really showing off here. He did pinch right in. There was an empty spot, and he uh, filled that void. Both teams really taking their chance on those delayed offsides. Linesmen are uh, making the calls, though. Blown those plays dead. Josh Brooks with Skladowski on the faceoff. One by the Rams back in the corner. Up towards the point. Coming out. Cross ice. A big Mr. Mead again. Ooh, a nice little toe drag off the backhand. Nobody home on the side. Johnny Jennings hoping for a pass, but it didn't get to him. Back out to the point. Here we go. Turn and dump in. They gain the zone again. That's Fitzpatrick over to Ross. To memorize number 28. Fitzy all the way across again over to Mr. Ross. Stay back on the point covering for Ross is Eddie Montgomery. Now they switch back. Eddie Montgomery steals. He's coming in. He shoots. Scores! Nice! That's what you get for playing that point, Eddie. Eddie. I think that might be an unassisted. Eddie Montgomery covering the point as Ross went down deep. 
Yeah, he looked over at the bench. So somebody must have said, what are you doing out here, Ed? And he goes, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm covering for my defenseman. And then the play shifted, and he just pounced on it and put it in. Two to one. Five minutes, we've already got uh, more scoring than you could shake a stick at here, <laughs> folks. Uh, makes up for the first period of, uh, no, of a very uneventful first period. <laughs> a very, shake a three, stick very, at. three very nice goals here so far. Rakowski and Nick Dureski. Doing a little skiing on that face off there. All the way around and back to the back. Sam Brewster along the boards. Takes two guys to maybe knock him down to one knee. There we go. Comes out front. Sam Brewster seeing Dureski out front. He just couldn't get it to him. They're all the way down. No icing here. Oh. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Jason Arrow with a save. Clears it down. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Okay, now Golden Rams trying to come back out. They're coming up the center. Just tipped in. Housel's got to be a bit more careful when he comes out to play those pucks. Especially down in this end. The Zamboni door has been notorious for, for throwing pucks in uh, various locations. And that one he just mishandled. Could be another episode of the DiPietro syndrome. A wandering goalie well, tried to break out up center. Unfortunately, Chris Ryan uh, didn't get to the pass. Didn't get to Chris. The jailbreak to, to Ryan was unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a big long shot. Rister, good, good Rister from the point there. That's Musser. He's uh, the fellow from Mechanicsburg. These guys are just mucking in the corners here. Are using his size to pin Westchester to the boards there, try to force the puck. I, I, Jason Arrow is uh, just telling this guy a very long story about uh, his weekend, and uh, says the refs are letting them play. Uh, Sam oh, Brewster, without a stick, stick. managed to, to rid one of the Westchester players of his <laughs> of his uh, molars. Although Sam is holding his wrist a little bit as he goes off. Like and he's not going to be able to go off quite yet. I don't like seeing that. He's uh, he's in some pain there. I got to stick back. I am trying trying to see what he, uh, what's the cause of concern. Looks like Arrow's got his back. Is Adam Ball and Brian Elfond on the faceoff? We've seen these two guys go at it before. Pretty evenly matched. Adam Ball's coming back to the point here if he can. No, he couldn't. A nice little uh, shin guard save by Brian Elfond on that one shot. Back down low. Coming around back behind. Got a floater out front, but they push it. Again, and it's out of the zone. So now the change. change. Yeah, three. So, uh, Jason Arrow. Wow, that was a beautiful shot. It just went off. I and that one, that one went to the fourth dimension. <laughs> I didn't hear any uh, metal. No metal, no swoosh. Just work is out of here. Adam Ball again and Brian Elfant on the faceoff. Again, no clear cut winner off to the side against the boards. There's a breakout. Going across Stony Brook. Toe drag and a beautiful shot. Again, I love it. Pretty sloppy rebound from Japchen. Nice stick handling by Sean Collins. Looking Brian back door. Elfon pulling the trigger fast. Nick Barbara, number 11, off to the side over here to Matt Miano. Matt Miano in control. He shoots off the ankle of the Golden Ram. Soderbergh trying to establish the four check deep in this Ooh, zone. Never right up front. No, no, this and is shot in. Beautiful shot. Holy smokes. Sean Collins finding a, a little, about a puck and a little bit more space on the right hand side. Unbelievable. Nice little passing play. It almost looked like they were on a power play. They were in just, such control. 
They had a very good forecheck going on there. The shot there was, was excellent. Right off the toe of the stick there, he just got enough on that to sneak it in into the left of the post. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, no. okay, so now we're up three to one. Stony Brook has got three goals and the Golden Rams have won. It looks like Stony Brook is uh, starting to put the pedal down. Yeah. So I think we're, we're going to see a, mu a much stronger forecheck from Westchester here, bring up the hitting. Try to knock Stony Brook back on the heels. Wesley Hawkins now on to the right wing. Beautiful right out front. Vincent Lopes. And a little bit of a high hit there. Okay, we got the. Uh, that was uh, Sean Collins with that beauty shot and the assists to uh, Brian Elfont and Nick Barbera. So, yep, Chris Hausel sealing off that side. He had his hip right on that post. Uh, he knew right where he was. Nobody was getting in there. Hey, we, we mentioned Angela's, uh, Angela's house uh, before, and uh, it's uh, in honor of Angela Policastro. Uh, young girl who was born here on Long Island and her parents had to travel all the way to Connecticut for uh, proper housing. And uh, they thought that was uh, the wrong thing to do and they did something about it and they started Angela's House, uh, a charity that will be building We got houses. a jailbreak here. No, and shoot, Eddie Montgomery on the side, save. They're building houses all over the, uh, the area and uh, the next one to be built is in Stony Brook. So, uh, we've got plenty of time tomorrow, you guys, to come down and watch the uh, game. These two teams will be going at it tomorrow afternoon, and you'll be home in time for, I think, uh, some football game is, uh, is on tomorrow. So. Yeah, the big Giants game on tomorrow. You come right down to the rinks. Game time, 3 p.m. You're watching online, of course, at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We'd love for you to join us again. Okay, face-off one by Stony Brook. Down low on the left-hand side, back behind the net. John Jennings going in. Everything but the puck. And we got our first penalty of the game. Here we go. Looks like uh, that uh, Ted Case might might be sitting. He looked like he uh, took the legs out from uh, from uh, Eddie Montgomery. Yeah, oh. Teddy Case. I'm not going to. Uh, you tell me when you think it's a good time to lo lob this uh, trivia question. I huh? think now's a great time. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Okay, here's a trivia question for you guys. Uh, there's a Hall of Famer who played for three different teams and he never had to, three different NHL teams and never had to change his license plate. Not that these guys ever really change their license plate when they go to a new team, but if he never had to, if he had to, <laughs> he would, would not have had to. Does that make any sense? If he did, he, ne he would have had the same. Man, level. Even, even up, up now. Sam Brewster getting a little too aggressive and uh, clearing out some corn behind the net there with his uh, scythe. Uh, 16 minutes into the uh, other penalty. So the uh, Golden Rams will have a 16 minute uh, man advantage at the end of this. 16 seconds. 16 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 16 minutes would be in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> We'd have to invent some new types of uh, penalties. on the Very board. rare penalty to get 16 minutes. You'd have to have a, a, a two minute and a, a pair of fives on the board, I believe, for that to happen. <laughs> right. Ooh, that, was, right, that was an opportunistic shot there, unfortunately. Uh, we uh, have discussed the uh, uh, not unclearing of, uh, of rebounds, and I can That's see this. Rebound. Stony Brook player going off the ice with his head down. Unfortunately, uh, he knows exactly. It's one of those plays, if you've ever played any sport and you hesitate and you see something happen like that and you think to yourself, if I had only just. I had a couple opportunities like that uh, playing uh, youth hockey myself. Uh, times you wish you could just turn back the, the hands of time. Oh, you know it every time it happens. If, if I just had done that extra little two inches, three inches, and here we go. Oh. Sam Brewster, 
So that was a uh, even straight, uh, not even uh, even up. It was four on four goal. So the, the, everybody stays in the box. Oh, that was oh. oh, that was almost a beauty. There was two guys that that could have that pass could have gone from uh, Wesley Hawkins across. And a brilliant defensive play there. As Gentile is just dumped into the boards. Yeah, he's going to go for a change. Uh, George Nichols trying to dump it in. Now it's uh, two on uh, one and a half here. He tried to pass it over. And a nice little hack there. Yeah. From Mead. And oh, he's, <laughs> he's sat down and yes, told not take to slash the goalie. <laughs> Steve Mead. Well, almost like the ref pushed him. But it wasn't. He took a nice healthy swipe at, uh, at Housel. Hey. Yeah, that, that was a uh, buddy. Uh, Chris Housel came out and cut off that pass that everybody in the building knew that that fellow, the winger going down, was going to pass over uh, Margadana. And, you know, Usually the center requires are very good to protect their goal. I'm surprised uh, a little bit, a, a, a larger altercation didn't arise from that situation. Face off one by the uh, Golden Rams. Unfortunately, nobody home. Margadana is that number 15, big number 15. Here we got Brian Elfant. He dumps in the corner. Hoping that uh, George Nichols can get over there. Sean Collins. Sorry, I got my favorite players mixed up. Brian Elfond tipping it over to Sean. Uh, could not. They almost look like uh, leg on leg. Oh. Uh, blocker. Waffle into the corner. Sean Collins. A little holding uh, action. Mm. Crunch. And back out to the point with big Jason Arrow. Big shot. Unfortunately, we've got a power play now for Westchester. This is the 16 minute one, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're down, one already at, uh, down to seven minutes. Six, five. Right out in front, Chris Housel. Three seconds left to the man advantage. Changing up. Got Nick Doreski coming back out. Pat Foster. Now we're having a little discussion with but, Peace. Uh, Nick Doreski on the faceoff with Adam Ball again. Up to the side. Or even up. Chris Ryan, yep. Back even. Chris Ryan down the side. Off to Sam Brewster with a beautiful shot and a nice save by Japchen. Sam Brewster, Brewster behind getting, the net. Soderbergh's getting some very high quality opportunities in front. They got to capitalize on more of them. Broken up. It's Adam Ball. They, uh, number 25 for the. Golden Rams is all over the place, and he's obviously their best face-off guy, Adam Ball. Keep an eye on him. Unlike uh, Liberty, there's no real uh, set breakout here. Uh, it's catch as catch can appears to be uh, for, by the Golden Rams. Liberty, you can almost uh, freeze the frame and know where the, the puck was going to go. That was a nice little tap by John Jennings over here. Eddie Montgomery, and he shoots. Down on his buttocks is uh, the Golden Ram. Oh, that was a ni almost a nice little tip. Another nice save on the shot from George Nichols from the side here. And a little impossible angle. Yeah, you don't want to call it impossible. I put a couple in from that angle. <laughs> and, even, <laughs> right. and even beyond that yeah, angle. <laughs> they're only impossible until they go in. So after a 0-0 first period, uh, with now 3-2, about seven minutes left. Shots on goal, a little favoring Stony Brook ever so slightly, but still close. Coming down, John Jennings out to Eddie Montgomery. Golden Rams back here trying to set something up. Miano. Boy, oh boy. Chris Housel squaring off against the, these, these shooters again. That's his trademark. 
If you had, uh, if we had a telestrator, you could almost just draw a line right through, uh, right across his uh, shoulder blades, and you just would see that flat line perpendicular to the shooter. He's a textbook goalie. Out of the zone, and here Vincent Lopes digging hard. He's got it. Icing wave. I love the wheels on this Vincent Lopes man. He's uh, he is flying. He's got it now. Oh, just a just a teensy bit offside. Skinny line, as we used to say. Well, not as close as the call in the first period. That one was a little bit more obvious. <laughs> Six nineteen to go in the second period. Back on defense, we got our Jordan DiLorenzo and Jason Arrow. They're turning and uh, standing tall right here, trying to seal off the Golden Rams. Nice, nice shot there from Case. One of the Case boys. Nice give and go play in the neutral zone to get Stony Brook's offensive zone pressure established. Dan Casano behind the net. Getting Banged around a little bit, but staying on his feet, keeping his feet moving. Jason Arrow from the point back down to Dan Cassano. Sees DiLorenzo back to Jason Arrow. Oh, right, right out in front. Oh, Vincent Lope. Get that nice right hand shot. Off, trying to get it out to the point. DiLorenzo over to Pat Foster. Oh, oh beautiful. Another shot, another it's out in front. He finally, Did he tap it in? He tapped it oh, in. All right. Dan Cassano digging hard. He earned that one. That goal is just hard work and dedication. You're not kidding. Stick it to the play until it's over. Pat Foster came in on point there. He took uh, Jason Arrow's spot and uh, got it down low. And uh, Dan Cassano was just flying around there, sometimes uh, on one foot, sometimes on two. Sometimes on a foot and a knee, and uh, and somehow a stick got on the puck <laughs> and it got to the back of the of the cage. <laughs> Four to two now, uh, and we've got about five minutes left in the period. We will rock you, Skodowski on the faceoff with Brian Elfont. A uh, little, uh, Sunny Brook playing with a little bit of confidence here, which is nice she to see. have given another assist to Pat Foster on that goal, but uh, I'm not the official scorekeeper here. That fellow there, Mr. Mr. Peace, Mike Peace, makes those calls with the help of his linesman. Well, a high stick call gets us down the, uh, oh, was that a high sticking penalty? That is a... Uh, I nothing on the board. That is indeed a high sticking penalty, so there it will be a Stonenberg power play. There we go. Down low, coming in with nice stick handling. We had uh, Chris Ryan right out in front of the net, unfortunately. Chris Housel. Up to Brian Elfont down the right hand side. Gains the zone, sets up. Beautiful out to Eddie Montgomery, uh, way high up in the point. Captain Chris Ryan getting knocked around out in front. There's a shot. Sonderberg 0 for 1 on the power play today, even though it was only 16 seconds in length. Sean Collins over to Eddie Montgomery. Eddie Montgomery over to Dan Cassano. Ooh, he's had a, had a little pincher coming down. Had Brian Elfon pinching down in the center. Again, beautiful passing here. Cross. Oh! Excellent set up there. They really got the pressure going on, on Westchester. Chris Ryan. This crisscross. This is a. And almost the defenseman knocked that one into the net. This is nice little uh, passing here, you guys. I, I, I have a feeling the 
Ferrar I didn't see it in the practice. You saw the practice, Trev. Did, were the Ferraro boys working on uh, power play by any chance? They were really working on a lot of small things in practice, working on, on just general puck possession. They were doing a, uh, they were doing a, post. a bunch of drills, focusing on uh, maintaining pressure in the zone. They are doing a, uh, a nice little low three-on-three -three drill, which, I, which is really nice, which really emphasized players keeping control of the puck. And, uh, and, force, and having them play to the whistle every time. Yeah, that, those little crisscross passes that I say are going to be the University of Maine. Okay, down low, at Pat Foster. Five to go on the power play. Uh, Wesley Hawkins up over his head. Got to get him those uh, high disco skates, and maybe he could have reached that one. Oh, uh, Chris Howes will take a little stroll, and unfortunately, not burned on that one. Even up. Yeah, back to... Uh, Five on the side. Vincent Lopes passing off to Wesley Hawkins on his off wing again. He loves it over there. Oh, Vincent Lopes tries to pounce on it. Golden Rams breaking out now. They've got uh, to drag. De Lorenzo so also a good deep play. Okay, John Jennings coming down his left wing. Got a streaking Sam Brewster right down the center. Unfortunately, he fell in off on the right-hand side. Wesley Hawkins back to Jason Arrow. Up and straight up center. John Jennings coming in. Shoots. Off to the left. Ever so slightly. Ooh, and he went knee first into the boards there. Yeah, he's uh, going to keep an eye on him and see if he's okay. Oh, another little. John Jennings. Wesley Hawkins. Some familiar names. Working hard down low. It's Josh Brooks coming in, number 22. Working over. Sklakowski pushing, pushing. George Nichols standing Sklakowski right up, saying, this is my zone. You can't do that. Right out in front, off to the side, nice. Josh Brooks breaking it up. Brian Elfond with his speed. He's coming down left wing. He's got a he's got a right wing over here. Oh, broken up neatly, neatly by Bill Pellegrino. Coming up on a minute left in the period here, you guys. Behind the net. Brian Elfond spilled, turns and fire. Oh, George Nichols almost had that one. He's off to the side. Again, here's this is this is this positioning here. You get the feeling that, oh, gee, Stony Brook's on a power play again, and they're just some they're, nice they're, they're passing. They're putting a lot of good, good four check on the Westchester zone. First uh, six uh, shot on goal lead by either team. Uh, Stony Brook up 27 to 21. Chris Hals is going for a few strolls behind the net there. Uh, I'm sure the coach is going to say something about that. Nick Doreski trying to get in here, get a little uh, action to go right before the end of the period. As everyone knows, that is just uh, a punctuation mark if you can make something happen at this stage of the game. It's beautiful stick handling by James Ross. And that's the end of the second period. Uh, we got uh, shots on goal, 27 to 21 in favor of Stony Brook, and uh, score is in favor of Stony Brook, four to two. We got the third and final period coming up, and uh, please come back or stick around, uh, and please try and make some plans to come down here tomorrow. I'll buy a cup of coffee, and then we'll uh, go watch the Giant game. You're watching Stony Brook Sea Wolves Hockey live from Long Island, New York. This is, we said it at the beginning in the pregame show, this is a big game. Right now the score is 4-2. to two. Let's see if that holds up. Recapping uh, that second period, which was uh, explosive, we had uh, six goals uh, for Westchester University. Uh, first goal for Westchester was uh, number nine, Steve Mead, with assist to Sklodowski and Feeney. Second goal for them was 
Number 18 Jeff Dugan with assist from Gentilly and Brownlee. Uh, Stony Brook tally with four goals. And uh, here are those uh, goal scorers and assists. Uh, first goal came from uh, Wesley Hawkins with an assist to Dan Cassano. Uh, second goal came from Eddie Montgomery from an assist from John Jennings. Uh, third goal came from Sean Collins, assist to Elfont and Barbara. The fourth goal came from uh, Cassano with an assist to Di Lorenzo. And I'd throw an extra assist on to Pat for Pat Foster. But uh, I'm not the scorekeeper. The ice is nice and clean. Wesley Hawkins again is talking to the linesman and the ref and anybody else who will listen. I mean, I'm sure he's telling them uh, to watch the giant game tomorrow. And here we go. Start of the third period, a big period for both teams. Both hanging on. Westchester in 18th spot in the standings and Stony Brook at 16th spot. Trying to hold on desperately for that last playoff spot. And we're going to get a face off here. The net came off the moorings. Boom, boom. Westchester plays down at a uh, place called the uh, Ice Line Quad Rinks. It's a four sheet facility. Uh, one of them has about a uh, 1500 seat uh, capacity and that's where they play. And also the Philadelphia Junior Flyers. Here comes Vincent Loaf screaming out over to the side. Odds are I've probably played that, at that rink. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I, it, it, I believe they have an international size sheet there too. If I remember correctly. Quite possible. Always, uh, when the general managers get together, there's always talk of expanding to that oh, ooh, ooh. head uh, face mask. Uh, Be careful, they might throw a flag on that play. <laughs> there's always talk of them shifting to the international size rink because the players are so huge nowadays. Speaking of which, and the game's gotten so much faster. It's Patrick behind the net, coming up the side. Got uh, uh -oh. George Nichols fanning on the shot. So oh, we're getting a little less Let's see if they can uh, reel this in, or is it going to take a goal for them to wake up a little bit? George Nichols out leaning on the Rams coming in. And here we go. Sean Collins breaking out on the right wing. Brian Elfan tra trailing. Nice little shot. Didn't get through though. Pinched off Nick Barbara. Nick all over the ice here. Even saying hello to a teammate Matt Miano. <laughs> Just dumping it right in. Jason Arrow bringing it up now slowly up the, the wing and nudges it up a little bit. Trying to bang it again. again. Brian Elfont trying to break out. He does. He's coming down the left wing. Crossover. Yeah, he uh, just stepped in ever so slightly before. Cannot precede the puck, unfortunately. He knows that. Good, good sized crowd here. On, uh, unfortunately, we don't have the band here tonight, which is always a thrill. Makes our sound guy want to jump off a bridge. Behind the net. And kept in nicely by Nick Doreski inside. Again. Di Lorenzo keeping it in also. Now this is uh, the forecheck and the, the pressure that needs to be kept on these guys. They can't get complacent. There should be an icing. Chris Housel. Letting uh his D-man know that uh, no sense pressure. There's a he gets his arm up in the air. Speaking of bridges, uh, Stony Brook University used to be famous. Although then we should make that the trivia question for tomorrow. The bridge to nowhere. <laughs> we'll explain the bridge to nowhere tomorrow. Back to Pat Foster on the point, off on the side down low. Eddie Montgomery back behind the net. And Westchester is going to get out here. He quickly pounced on by two Sea Wolves. Conversely, Chris Ryan jumped on by two uh, Golden Rams. Kept in with a beautiful hand. And dumped down. No, no icing. Oh, yes, he is. He put the hand up at the last moment. 
Usually they call it a little sooner than that. Yeah. If you didn't know, uh, Penn State uh, was beaten by Oklahoma last weekend, so uh, things are tightening up and things are jumping around in the standings. So keep Penn an eye on the standings. Penn State is, uh, has dropped a few games. They dropped one to Liberty. Yeah, they they so were they, uh, they, they were grabbed the Columbus Street record. They're basically the chosen ones to walk right through this whole uh, season, and they've hit a few uh, stumbles. Face off and now back to the point, and inside oh down low nice. They come back out. That's it's Mead again, off to the side oh backhand beautiful backhand, off into the corner. An interesting bat maneuver there to, to the point. swindle the puck. Wow, on his back, he's still trying to make it. That's the Mead, Steve Mead. Presence of mind to try and even backhand it on, while laying on his back. That would be a back backhand. Back out to the point, uh, back out to the line. Bouncing puck, Chris just jumps on it. Says, uh, keep it right here. Puck possession is going to be one of the keys to walking away with the victory today, and Stunnerberg has to keep control of the puck. Giving up precious time in their own zone is just going to give Westchester a few more chances to put, put some more pucks in the net and could cost them the game. Yeah. Face off here, just a scrum, and technically, uh, well, officially won by Stony Brook. Oh. John and Jenny. a delayed call there. Oh, boy, here we go. That's our Adam Ball mixing it up with We're Matt Miano. A slashing call here. That was a delayed reaction from Peace. Uh, definitely uh, looked at the appeal from the Westchester player before making the call. Wasn't so much a call as a, as a reaction. Uh, referee Mike Peace over at the uh, scorekeeper's bench. Got Matt Miano going off and uh, on I don't see the door opening for Westchester, so it looks like a it's going to be a slashing rider against Miano. Yep. Initially a no call, but uh, it took him a took a few seconds to raise the arm there. A little sword fight after that. This is Christian Christian Tilly and Sean Collins on the faceoff. Sean pulls it right back from behind the net. Di Lorenzo tried to whip it around, unfortunately didn't give out. Chris Ryan and Sean Collins up high on the, this penalty kill. On the back line, we got Di Lorenzo and Foster. Foster with a good play to get it out of the zone. Allows the defenders to change. We got fresh legs come out. Chris Ryan going back off. So now there's a whole completely Whole new setup. Couldn't have had a more textbook change than that. Yes. Fitzpatrick off the side, unfortunately, stopped. Bang. Not out. This puck's got to be high if they want to get over those new Westchester defensemen. Newcomer Vincent Lopes getting a little PK time here. Coming up. Oh, nice. George Nichols back up. Oh, that hit the screen. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> well, the official didn't see it. That's what yeah, matters. That, it was right over his head. Fitzpatrick out and uh, right up the center. On him, like paint on the post, Dan Cassano, who takes it away, passes off to Vincent Lowe. Speedy wing coming in. Oh, he just did one stick handle too many. He's trying to get over onto his forehand to just pop it up over Japchik's shoulder. And he was being pestered from behind. So good try. There's the shorthanded. Oh, off speed pitch. Seen by Chris Housel the whole time. Nice play by Jordan DiLorenzo to keep it uh, keep it out. Five to go. Comes Adam Ball coming in again. Off on the side. Again, Stony Brook, toe drag. Jason Arrow goes right down. And we're even up now. Westchester behind the net coming out. Wesley Hawkins putting a little pressure on 
the Golden Rams. No, no ice. Chris Hauser going for a little stroke, going over to the cafeteria for a cup of coffee. Westchester getting a little bit uh, more muscle on the puck. Here comes Wesley Hawkins streaking down his normal left wing. Shoots, scores! Beautiful, just he saw that whole time. Not much space over that goalie's right shoulder, but Wesley he found, found it. it. He is right as rain. Screaming Wesley Hawkins just coming down that wing. This time on his left wing. Not scooting over to his, uh, he's been floating over onto the right wing, which is a nice way to see him shoot with that gorgeous left-handed shot of his. Wesley Hawkins down, and uh, I know I'm normally this, the, uh, the maker of obvious statements, but uh, I was just gonna say the next goal is a big one, and uh, they got it, and it's a big one. It's a three-goal lead now, five to two. 13 minutes left in the third period. And I'm wondering if uh, they'll be kind enough to give uh, James Ross a little assist on that uh, Wesley Hawkins or is gonna be unassisted. But we'll see what the scorekeeper says. Oh. Now Sony Brook breaking out again. Oh, another beautiful deal. Another beautiful. They did give Mr. Ross a nice assist on that one. It was an end to end rush, though, by uh, Wesley. Golden Rams coming down the left side. George Nichols just lined up. Andy Case on that one. Took his case to court. Here comes Andy Case again inside, number 77. Whoa. That's one for the uh, Sports Center top 10. <laughs> mm. Brian Elfon pressuring, getting his stick. Let us stick to the work. Jason Arrow from the, the point. Testing the boards behind the net. Plenty of time. He's, he's calling for it. Jason Arrow wants it. Unfortunately, Sean Collins didn't see him. Now pass over and out, unfortunately, by Jordan DiLorenzo. Brian Alfont. <laughs> the puck out of play. 12.05 to go in the third period. Right in the eye, Beam. Uh, those I-beams take a lot of abuse at the rinks. Yeah. With a constant target of high pucks. Some uh, old timers, I'm sure, can remember playing in rinks where, I don't know if there was asbestos or whatever it was up on the ceiling, but a high puck would uh, make you run and scatter and don't breathe. <laughs> okay. Coming down the uh, left-hand side, Stony Brook. Crisscrossing back out, and they're out and up and over. They're hoping to get a little rolling puck. Wesley, uh, say, keep puck staying onside. The positioning has uh, been it just been fantastic. Uh, Jason Arrow, Fitzpatrick, Foster, all the back boys are, are, are right on the points. The uh, forwards know that they can almost pass blindly back, then they'll be there. It's uh, it's nice to see. Uh, they're stepping up when they need to, and they're backing off when they have to. There we go. A nice little number pass out, and Wesley Hawkins wants to jump on it again. Keep in mind, uh, Wesley's got two goals. Uh, let's uh, let's pass, to, pass it to number 14 here, boys. I think they're going to try to get Wesley yeah. the hat. That's it. That's uh, down low. He shoots. Oh, Wesley right out in front. He's Wesley looking, camping that out. <laughs> looking for the garbage. Fitzpatrick keeping it in, Just pinching in, pinching in. Oh, he's getting mugged from behind. Around the boards. James, uh, Ross connected with uh, Wesley before. Here's Fitzy from the point. Soft touch over to the side. Chris Ryan back to Fitzpatrick. Ryan back down. He's got a little guy out in front. Oh, oh. Nick Dureski just got, took a stick to the chin. Looks up like he's and okay. under, you know, underneath his uh, face shield. Uh, Keep an eye on him and see if uh, see if that stick drew blood. Oh, that was a beauty pass from behind the net. Uh, Adam Ball, we've we've said his name all night. He uh, passed right out in front. 
It was a beautiful pass. I'd, I'm wondering if that was uh, Jeff Dugan again on the on the goal. This game is not over. We are, uh, yeah, ten minutes. Uh, ten minutes to go. The Venice will uh, reveal the answer to tonight's trivia question, which is brought to you by Stony Brook Orthopedic Associates, which was uh, which NHL Hall of Famer played for three different NHL teams, never had to change his license plates. Of course, well, that answer is yeah, the fellow who played for the Buffalo New York Sabres and the New York Rangers and the Long Island New York Islanders. Hall of Famer Pat LaFontaine. And that trivia question is brought to you by Stratford Orthopedic Associates. Division of Sports Medicine. I've seen Pat play in a couple of charity games recently, and he can still go, and certainly with the new rules, he'd score at least 100 points. 100 goals. Right up big front. hit there. And here we go. Eddie Montgomery. Oh, and he, he finds the corner. He, he just waited and picked the spot. He said, oh, I like that corner right over there. I'll, I'll pop it right there. All the time in the world. Eddie Montgomery, beautiful left-handed shot. And just like that, we're back to a three-goal margin. Yeah. He's, it's a beautiful thing to see when somebody doesn't panic and just waits, 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 and he just saw it and I'll do it right over there. He had a lot of he had a lot of opportunities to pass and he just held on to it, which is it's good. Instead of passing the puck around, he just takes the shot for himself. He had the room. Westchester gave it to him. Skaldowski and Elfant on the oh the timeout. Westchester. Westchester. It looks like uh Coach Dorsey is a little concerned about something. He's, he's pulling everybody in. And uh, bring him in there. Seawolves Holes, square by number eight, Ed Montgomery. That's his second goal. Assisted by number 17, Chris Warren, and number 62, George Nichols. Well, goal, nine for the remaining. Eddie Montgomery getting a second goal of the game, uh, assisted by his captains Ryan and captains Nichols. So that was just nice. That's nice when you see that. Because we got a couple opportunities for some uh, potential hat tricks. Center were clapping it up on the bench. Westchester trying to get, trying to get a strategy together. They, they're, they're still in this game. There's 9:40 to go. The buzzer rings and the players are called to center ice. See, we have Skodowski and Elfont again. Yes, four and six. Boom, boom, boom. Once again, our next broadcast is tomorrow, January 22nd at 3 p.m. We'll be doing it all again against Westchester. Jason Arrow coming up, left-hand side, being pressured by Brian Elfon. Jason Arrow again, up, tries the other point, tries the other boards. Sean Collins not getting it out, unfortunately. But Trev said, plenty of time. That was tipped right in front. But that one brings up one of Steve the Mead, Steve Mead of, uh, buzzing around the goal. Nice for <laughs> stick check. Sean Collins uh, thwarting big shot from the point there. Brian Elfont trying to let his mates get onside here. Sean Collins. Oh. And that one was offside. Yeah, he kind of paused. Jumped the, the line a little bit. Brian was trying to do the right thing there. Wesley Hawkins out here, number 14. Keep your eye on him on left wing. Face off being taken by Dan Cassano and Adam Ball, number 25 for Westchester. Plowing straight ahead. Gain of 20 on the play. Coming back the other way. Oh, and whoa. And that one uh, from, from at least the, the angle up here was not offside, but that's Clyde's with Varielli on the line said it was. What do, what do we know? We just saw that one. Okay. <laughs> Dan Cassano again off on the side. Eight minutes. 
Left and a nice up. bat there. Uh, a lot of guys say that uh, the Americans and their uh, familiarity with baseball, but it's just pure hand-eye coordination. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the winning ticket. Now, there's a nice 50-50 drawing, so be sure to check your tickets. The winning ticket number okay. is 548430. Oh. And that number again, 548430. Congratulations to the winner. That thanks for supporting us. Back up to the side. Back out of his own. Vincent Lopes screaming after him, so is uh, Scream Wesley Hawkins. <laughs> Matt Miano pinching off uh, the Golden Rams and out of the zone. Just love watching a guy with speed like Vincent Lopes. He just goes and he just seems to pick up speed. Here's a little pinch. George Nichols playing a smart play, using his mind instead of his body on that one, and poke checking it away. Eddie Montgomery coming up. Eddie with two goals tonight, right? So we got to root for him, too. And there's, nice uh, <laughs> there's George using his body that time. Made a good judgment yeah, call that's taking that's away the, the pass. Uh, Jennings, ooh, nice wrister. Backhand now, backhand Johnny Jennings. Made him famous, that backhand. Here comes Skoleski again, Mead. That one is gone. <laughs> A few ticks under seven to go in the third period. Shots on goal. Stonebrook 32, Westchester 29. Still, still pretty even. Still yeah, fairly even indeed. The pressure's been going back and forth. It's just the breaks and the opportunities have been going Stonebrook's way. And uh, as you know, some, some days it goes your way and other days it will not go your way. Brian Elfant on the faceoff with uh, Bromley. Bromley with a goal for the Westchester uh, Golden Rams. Greganoff coming out right up the center. Off to the side. Oh, he tried to get a shot off on a little pinched. Back checking uh, Golden Ram. That was a very clean break out from Stony Brook. Brian Elfant burying his shoulder. In that ram. Here we go. Ooh, nice backhand, Chris Housel, stretching out with his pad and stopping that. Skodowski uh, put a little clinic on down there. He's going off for a change. It's one of those uh, offensive defensemen. Offensive. Ooh. Adam Ball with a head hand to uh, Sean Collins's head. Adam Ball down low now. Puck stolen. Turnover again. This way. Coming up to a point. It's not out. Back behind the net. It's looping around. Ooh. And that was a. Oh, nice glove save. Rebound bounce out. Chris Housel pounces on it. Chris Housel back and forth, just playing his position. What he knows how to do. Looks Love like, it. Uh, Maradonga is definitely asking for some trouble, trying to stir up some action in front of the Seawolves net. Yes. George Nichols trying to get it up the board here, up and out. No, it should have been played. It's not going to be. It's not going to go for done. icing. Nope. Chris Ryan. Getting the puck, Nick Doreski out in front. There, there we is. go. There's Eddie Montgomery, right? Yep. That's a hat trick. But where is my hat? <laughs> <laughs> he makes the trick with the hat. Nice. That makes the magic with the helmet. There we go. Eddie Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I throw my hat, but I don't think I'd get it back. Yeah. We, we should uh, bring some, uh, some fun hats. I'm going to write that down. 
That makes the score seven to three uh, with about a little over five minutes left here. Hockey fans. Wesley Hawkins dumping in. Wesley is now on the ice. Let's see if we can get two hats tonight. And the uh, puck goes up and hits the net. Montgomery's third goal of the game from Nick Dureski and Chris Ryan. So, Chris Ryan having a nice night with a bunch of assists. Yeah. So. A couple Sewells uh, with, with uh, multiple point games tonight. Stony Brook trying to make a statement on where they are and where they should be. They've had a couple of real dogs last couple of games but uh, this one is uh, this one is so far has been a beauty Ooh. that's what we would call a fat line on that one it's down still down low Wesley Hawkins got it and knocks it out he's got such great strength in his arms and get his stick anywhere near it it's he's got it Jason Arrow's dumping in gains the zone and dumps it in behind the net Japchen going for a little stroll. Wesley Hawkins trying to come off on that side again. I don't have two opportunities, both denied. Yep. Jason Arrow down low. Oh. I don't know if that was a pass over to Wesley Hawkins or just a little deflection. Now it's right out in front. <laughs> I don't know how was Hawkins it? was supposed to handle that <laughs> one. He, he tried, though. <laughs> this one is going to go down for icing. Chester will be denied a change. Wesley is one of those guys that you, is, uh, I think of uh, John Tonelli. Uh, I think of uh, guys just going in the corners, mucking it up, but always constantly going and very deceptively strong on the puck. Uh, I bet you if we saw him at the beach, he'd have a, quite a set of forearms on him. We go back to the point. Fitzpatrick bounce off the pads, and now it's, this is a breakout. And Chris Housel just coming out and cutting it off. It was Matt O'Brien coming in all alone. Unfortunately uh, for him, he ran into a solid, smart Chris Housel who came out, sealed off his angles. Well, looks like we have a hurt Westchester player. That is number yeah, 11. Laskowski. Laskowski is going off. Uh, Nursing something. He was hunched over heading to the bench. Still is uh, hunched over on the bench. Face off coming down here in Stony Brook zone. We've got uh, Josh Brooks with Adam Ball. It's a, it's almost like every face off is uh, they put out Adam Ball. Let's we'll see if he goes off after this. This could hey, be number four. Montgomery, backhand. He got a shot off. It was a little high, but no, Adam Ball is still out there. He's uh, they're double shifting Adam Ball. He's oh, nice try. Yeah, you got to be a bit stronger on the D zone clearance there. <laughs> Nick Barbara hoping for a little uh, backhand push forward pass. Westchester from behind the net. Over to the side, back behind the net. Relentless forechecking here. We got three uh, Seawolves down low. As we as we found out, it, as long as they keep the, the pedal down, Westchester can't get anything done. Westchester has to almost ice the puck to try to get a change. And even if they do ice it, they're, they're sunk because then they can't change. <laughs> right. So they got to do that nice soft dump. George Nichols pitching in, trying to get a one-handed backhand in there. Just throw it in front of the net. Matt Miano to the side. Sean Collins breaking out. There's Nick Barber coming down. Nick again with the puck, getting pinched. Matt Miano 
banging it down a little further. Westchester's trying to set the, the pace for tomorrow already. This is a two-on-one right here. Oh! Brian Elfond unselfishly trying to dump it down low to Sean Collins. That's it. Oh, oh and there's a two-hander. Well, that's, Margadana, that's your buddy Margadana. He uh, Margadana's got to cool it, or else he's going to be sitting. Yeah, yeah well, we'll two-hander there could range anything from two to five minutes. We'll <laughs> keep an eye on him tomorrow. A little over like ninety some, ticks on the clock here, you guys. Ninety-one. If you want to be, uh, want to be scientific. <laughs> If they send out, no. We've got Roskowski there, number two faceoff guy down here. Stony Brook technically uh, taking that face off and coming down the side is Wesley Hawkins. With, ooh, uh, try, ooh, Hawkins into the boys' offer there. He looked over, he saw Vincent he looks Lopes. Hurt. Wesley a little slow to get up. He uh, he went feet first into the boards. We don't like seeing this. Oh uh, no, it is. I've, I've slid into the boards many a times. Uh, one, one, uh, one, one leg, one, one legs first, one face first. Ouch! Uh, actually, so hard that I dented the cage. I had a pretty nasty concussion. <laughs> and it looks like it could be some, uh, could be a knee or, or something, because of the way those, way that buckled in there. That's uh, Wesley Hawkins down there, number fourteen. They're uh, picking up the stick and. Second that trainer uh, keeping uh, an eye on him here, trying to talk to him. We got the Zamboni door open just in case we're going to move him out that way, but there's no uh, carpet there. So they're getting a little freezer pack. Is that what that is? Well, odds are if they, if they got that door open, they're looking for the, the, the easiest way to get him off the ice if it, they need to bring a stretcher out there. That'll definitely be the uh, the easiest way. Depending on how, how badly he, he damages his legs there will depend on if he needs to. If he could skid off under his own power or if they'll need to bring a stretch on the ice. But typical Wesley Hawkins, he was passing over. He uh, was coming down that left wing and he saw he had a guy streaking down the center. Uh, and he passed over and it just didn't uh, connect. He's still down on the ice, uh, folks. Well, you can see that on the screen there. Yeah, our uh, our crack production crew has pointed out that uh, they're paying very close attention to that left ankle. Yeah, he did go. He did go legs first, and uh, it's either going to be the ankle or the knee. Could be uh, could be disastrous injury here if, if he really banged it up. Obviously, they're going to take as many precautions as they can here on the ice. Wesley Hawkins is a is a key part of this Seawolves team. Not only because of uh, goal scoring, he is just a go getter and a spark plug. And uh, I enjoy watching him, and I'm sure his teammates just uh, look to him for inspiration. They've uh, removed his chapeau. He is uh, a little hatless there. Got some, uh, I'm sure that's a little cool pack and they've wrapped that with an ace bandage. Just in case um, the Hawkins family is watching, he is, he's talking, he's moving his hands and It looks like they are. He is going to get up and he's going to skate off Holy with smoke. assistance. He does not look good, though. No, he's not putting any pressure on that left leg. Captain uh, Captain Nichols and James Ross are. Uh, They're going to bring him down because it'll be uh, a lot easier to, to drag him on the ice versus uh, having him. Yeah walk on it. Uh, Captain Chris Ryan coming over saying what's up there Wesley and uh, Wesley just shook his head. He's not grimacing if that, if 
that's any uh, consolation. Okay. Well, we can only hope uh, for the best for our buddy Wesley Hawkins. Uh, getting back to the action here with a minute 16 left. Got uh, Sean Fitzpatrick against the entire Golden uh, Rams team. It's, a, it's an interesting play. It's a one on five. Here come a few more Sea Wolves. John Jennings. Dan Cassano. And Vincent Lopes. And our other D man. James Ross. OK, we got five on five. For a minute 16 here. Stony Brook seven. Westchester Golden Rams three. Tony Varielli dropping the puck here. Good job, Tony. Go to Fitzpatrick. Over to Ross, and he dumps it down low. Ooh, Vincent Lopes tries to cross it right out front. Sealing it off. Ross. Last minute of play. Vincent Lopes trying to pass it out front. It bouncing around. Sean Fitzpatrick down low. Vincent Lopes again up front. Where'd that go? That went Is that right. His equipment? Yeah, it went oh. in between the arm oh. and the uh, oh. arm and the body. Just That's pinched that one. Nice pass. Vincent Lopes out to John Jennings. Dan Cassano is in there mucking it up too. We got a change on the forwards. We still have our Sean Fitzpatrick in the back. And James Ross. It's Brooks down low. Westchester coming out. Mm, not yet. Gee, Brian Elfont, pressure. He saw, ho, oh, ho, he saw he had uh, Brooksy breaking in there. Coming over to the side, they just dump it in. They're going, come on, let's get down this end a little bit. Too much time down the other end. Almost came right around. Sean Fitzpatrick, dumping the, clear in the zone. Sunderbrook should just oh. dump the puck and lay off. Avoid any body contact at the end here. No doubt Westchester's going to try to stir something up. Brian Elfant. For tomorrow's game. Brian Elfant with a cage save. Yeah. It looks like this, one, this game won peacefully. That's right, here we go. Final score, Stony Brook Seawolf 7, Westchester Golden Rams, Westchester Golden Rams 3. Shots on goal, by the way, 34 to 34. Very interesting. Well, let's see if they have the center ice handshake, which they do. So, uh, of course, they'll all be friends now. And we'll start this again at 3 o'clock tomorrow. All in all, I'd say it was a good showing by the Stony Brook Seawolves coming out and playing hard. Occasionally with those lapses, but they didn't get burned too often. They got burned certainly on the first one. Uh, but uh, maybe their coaches reminded them, like, this is our MO, you guys. Let's not have this happen again. Uh, Probably the longest handshake line we've seen, stretching from the Seawolves goal line to well beyond the blue line. There we go. And Seawolves will be back here tomorrow as they salute the fans in attendance at the rinks in Hopog, New York. Simply the best. All right, you guys. Okay, everybody, final score, 7-3 to three here in beautiful Hop Hog, Long Island. I hope to see you here at 3 o'clock tomorrow. I'm Lear Leary, along I'm with Trevor Magnani. And Anthony uh, Papanella on camera, as well as Kevin O'Rourke. We'll see you tomorrow.